Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 30th, 2020. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday, had a, caught up on a little rest, probably um, trying to still get over a little bit of a um, eating hangover here. Um, but uh, today we're looking at a market that's looking just a little bit on the bearish side, a little bit of a mix going on. And we seem to be kind of pausing just a little bit this morning in the market. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So, good morning, everyone, and thanks again for watching here this morning. Um, we are looking at a end of month little pause here. Apparently, this morning um, we had great sales numbers um, over the holiday weekend. Um, surprising sales numbers, um, lifting uh, retail to new records. Um, in the holiday sales events, Black Friday events. And today we face, you know, just another event of Cyber Monday that's likely going to keep traders rather distracted today. Um, we'll also have traders probably extending vacations, not coming back to work, just taking that little extra time off as we often do around holiday events. So keep that in mind today. We could see kind of a lighter volume today. We could see a little bit of back and forth. Now, one of the things that I think is interesting this morning is what we're dealing with here is we're actually seeing retail showing us a huge confidence from consumers, yet we had news out this morning that the small business um, indicator is hitting a new record low, suggesting that they see a future um, in the market that's not so happy for them. So kind of an interesting mix going on here today and just maybe just a little bit of a pause uh, coming into play this morning. Let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart. Now, first off, we see a bullish trend. There's no doubt about it. Bulls are in control here. Uh, very, very strong and showing lots and lots of bullishness as we press out. We attack those um, highs up there around 30,000 new record highs. Um, and we've pulled back since then. And this morning, the diamonds are looking for a bit of a pullback. If you take a look, Right now, this candle is indicating the morning open. Now, those Dow futures have been down as much as 200 points this morning. And as I uh, record this, we're only down about 130 points. So they've bounced up a little bit. But let's keep in mind, if those sellers do come on, if we do get a little bit of a profit-taking wave, we could actually push back into this area right here just to fill that gap of last week. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, if those sellers pile on, we could um, drift down into that area. Now, should that level break, we would look to these levels down in here for a little bit of price support. And if we were to fall below here, um, we have a big open gap in the diamonds um, that we would want to watch. But for now, I got to give this up to the bulls. The bulls uh, continue to remain pretty strong. And if I connect these lows right through here, we still have this upside trend going on in this chart. Now, we are considerably extended in the market. And we've been talking about that over and over. And we've been ignoring it, honestly, for a long, long time. We are very extended in the short term here on the market. So a rest or pullback should not be a big surprise if it does occur. Occur. Not saying that it will, but we should be watchful for it just in case we do get that pullback. Let's take a look at um, the SPY this morning, SPY, trying to right now indicate just a little teeny tiny bit of pushback. We were pushing down earlier this morning. Dow futures still remain a little bit negative. As you can see, we're gapping down just a little bit, but certainly nothing in that chart that says, hey, we're ready to fall off a cliff or um, lots of bearishness coming into the market. And those retail sales that we saw over the holiday would certainly suggest the possibility of a, that Santa Claus rally um, over the next 30 days might be possible. So 
Keep that in mind, those retail sales may actually inspire the bulls to push even higher. Let's keep in mind here, we're placing um, into here a little bit of this wedge pattern here. And as we push up against that resistance up in here, trying to break out, we'll just wanna watch that pretty closely for that opportunity if those bulls start to step up here. However, one of the things that we might wanna consider, might wanna remember, is since the March lows down here, S&P 500 is up 60%, over 60%. So kind of keeping that in mind, and remember we've got all of these tremendous impacts to our economy from COVID, it seems kind of remarkable that we've just been able to ignore all of that and rally to these heights. So I'm only pointing that out, not to suggest that we're gonna have a big bearish wave, but just to point out that we have that possibility of a pullback and make sure you're planning your risk carefully as we push forward if that pullback were to come into play. If those bulls can push on through, we wanna also be ready for that opportunity in here. Look at this little upside trend. We wanna look for that opportunity if those bulls can engage in here for that opportunity to catch that upside move. So which means we're gonna to have to really stay focused on that price action in the charts. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. QQQ, um, struggling a little bit this morning, um, we, but the, this index is trying to show the most bullishness this morning of all the indexes. And remember, I was talking about this worry, this little bit of worry of us um, holding into this uh, downtrend here. Well, that's now been um, you know, completely conquered. Um, bulls pushed us through that level. We are testing this area of resistance right in here. We have a strong bullish upside move in play and perhaps those bulls are gonna push this on through this morning um, to that upside and maybe reach out here and get those new records in the NASDAQ as well. Um, we have those new records in the SPY, the Diamonds and IWM, but the NASDAQ was lagging behind on that. Perhaps we reach up there and grab those new records before we see any profit taking coming into the market. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM has been remarkably strong and it's really been riding a tremendous wave of comeback in the financial sector, in the oil sector. Just a huge massive rally as you can see here. Now what I would suggest is that IWM, like some of the other indexes, is a bit overextended in the short term and we'll want to watch that closely however this is a massive breakout on um, that area the, those consumer um, cyclicals are really showing a lot of strength we're showing maybe that rotation into more of um, value type trades so let's watch this closely. We're consolidating up here in a nice little consolidation. Let's keep in mind that we do have a potential gap that could be filled back in here. And um, if we do get that selling wave, we could pull back pretty substantially here in IWM, even coming back in here to test this breakout of all time highs. So watch that closely. If we continue to stretch this higher, certainly those bulls have the um, potential of doing that. Just notice that the more and more we stretch, the harder the fall might be if that selling wave does come into play. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, Breaking down below its 50, 500 day moving average, which we've been waiting for that for a long time. We held and held and held and held there. Notice we had a little bit of a hammer type pattern showing up here um, last week um, as we hit the holiday shutdown. And we might see a little bit of follow through to that this morning, a little bit more upside here on that VIX but I don't think it's gonna become at all severe, and really unless we break above that 500 day and prove to hold it above the 500 day, then we might get catch a little bit more of a bounce. And I don't think this is going to get at all serious unless we can pro uh, break through that little downtrend right there and hold it as support. So I don't see a big panic wave coming in, although it's possible because we're quite elevated. Um, keep, a, keep an eye on that, but right now there just doesn't seem to be a whole lot of fear in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. Now this one continues to give me my biggest concern for the market. We are exceedingly, 
exceedingly elevated here on T2122. I have never ever seen a time when T2122, when we reach this level, doesn't produce a pullback eventually. Now we've lingered up here quite a while um, in this move, so don't be at all surprised at any time if we get a little bit of that selling wave come in, a little bit of profit taking, and if it starts to begin, it could accelerate pretty quickly if we start dropping into some of those gaps that that we've left behind in the chart. So watch that closely. Don't rule out that possibility that sellers could come in here a little bit. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we have to just collapse in the market at all. As a matter of fact, um, what we could see is more of a protracted, extended little choppy consolidation and that could pull us back here in the market and give us more upside opportunity. So watch that if we just need to rest to absorb such a big move uh, up in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a few things that we'll want to be paying attention to here, but overall a rather light day on the calendar. Let's take a look here. As you can see, we've got Chicago PMI coming out here at 945. We've got those pending home sales coming out at 10. Of course, they can move the market. We'll want to keep an eye on that. So watch that closely. The Dallas Fed um, survey, probably not going to do anything at all for the market at all. And keep in mind, we just have some bond auctions and things like that firing off. Other things during the week that we'll wanna pay attention to, we've got that ISM manufacturing coming in. That'll be important on Tuesday. We've got a couple of Jerome Powell speeches to make note of. And then we're kind of sliding off into those jobless claims and the big employment situation number on Friday. That will be the, the Mac Daddy of the week right there. And so let's keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And I got to tell you guys, we really don't have much going on on that earnings calendar today. Pretty darn light day. And honestly, I went through the list and I don't see anything that's really going to be market moving at all or anything that's particularly notable today. So that's one thing to also kind of keep in mind. We might be losing some of that earnings hype and um uh, we, we may just run out of, of that energy a little bit um, that gets created over those earnings um, events. So watch that if we just get a little bit of a pause here in the market. Probably shouldn't be all that big a surprise considering how far we have rallied. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, everyone, that um, every time I post a video in these stocks, it's it's not a recommend or post a stock in these videos. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every Every time I post one of these videos and I just want to say thank you uh, um, to everyone my goodness we went over 16,000 subscribers um, over the holiday thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that and if you find these videos to be worthy um, or helpful to you in how you plan your day please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment helps us continue to grow and I read every single one of those comments um, I can't tell you that I I'm going to have time to answer every single one, but I try my very best to answer those. Please um, continue to do that. It helps us continue to grow as well. And then also, please feel free to share these videos with, uh, you know, on your, any social media platform. And I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these stocks that could be setting up. And there are quite a few really good price patterns out there in charts. Take a look at Boot. Boot is running in a beautiful upside trend. Okay, just a beautiful upside trend. Just breaking through resistance levels, consolidating that move. Very um, methodical price action, as you can see here in that chart. So take a look at Boot. Watch this little consolidation up here. As this kind of drifts toward this trend, we might look for that opportunity for that next buy or entry into that trade. Boot looking very, very good setting up. Uh, very bullishly, um, in my opinion. Now, 
Um, take a look at John Deere. Now, John Deere and all heavy equipment um, right now has been holding up really, really well, doing uh, a very nice job. And you can see we have that little bit of a pushback right in here on that candle, but we, we uh, bounced right back up. And as you can see, we're holding in this beautiful upside trend. Notice how concise this is. There's not a lot of volatility in this move. It makes it a very readable chart and a fairly easy chart to trade. Now, that doesn't necessarily say that it's just a, an automatic winner in the market, but we'll want to keep an eye on that um, and realize that this little bit of back and forth, a uh, little bit of con uh, consolidation really could be just chopping itself over here toward the trend for that next opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on John Deere. I think we should also be keeping an eye on Caterpillar. Caterpillar doing largely the same thing, running in this beautiful upside trend, a little bit more more volatility in this than in John Deere but as you can see breaking through resistance levels holding very very strong and just sliding over here toward the trend might suggest more upside opportunity in Caterpillar and last on that line uh, Cummins um, CMI also really strong upside trend a little bit more volatility than the other two in here as you can see a little bit more back and forth in here but let's keep an eye on this you can see we had a nice bullish engulfing candle um one might call that um more than just that bullish engulfing but a a kind of a reversal uh, back up on um uh, last thursday so uh, or excuse me, on Friday. So watch that closely if that can pop up and push on through. Uh, keep a close eye on CMI. Other stocks out there that seem to be looking just really, really strong. Take a look at anything in the consumer discretionary area. Um, right now, consumer discretionary is holding up very well. This is the XLY, the ETF on consumer discretionaries, holding up very, very strong. Watch this in here. Any rest or pullback in this could set up that opportunity. There's our little trend. Watch that closely. Had a little pullback on Friday, but just just watch that carefully if that can continue to perk on up might show some strength in that chart take a look at apple apple has been and let me show you my drawings here on this apple has been trying to uh, deal with this price wedge whoops a little change in my tools there that happened automatically excuse me for a second there we go um little price wedge we've been trying to deal with it we broke through the downtrend in this and we've come back to test notice we're trying to pick up here just a little tiny bit in that chart let's watch this closely if this continues to rest out here just a little bit i think the bulls might be able to overcome any of that selling in there let's watch that closely on apple um, we also want to take a look at some of the um, strength that we're showing in metals. Um, really remarkable. We're showing lots of strength in steel. Now, I think this kind of goes to the whole infrastructure um, improvement kind of thing, market recovery, um, uh, but huge strength here in U.S. steel. And as you can see, popping up into some resistance. Now, I would not want to chase this right where it is. I would want some kind of a rest or pullback consolidation in here to get into that trade. But steel showing very, very strong. You can see where my price alert was on this trade. Um, just a tremendous upside move. Keep an eye on that. Um, other, um, whoops, other, um, areas in metals. Really remarkable how strong aluminum has done here. Alcoa, beautiful upside move. Now, I think this is probably going to run into this resistance up here and get a bit of a rest or a pullback, but let's watch that. It could consolidate in a really nice tight area in here and then still provide that upside opportunity. Keep an eye on Alcoa showing lots and lots of strength here recently. Um, take a look at YNDX, YNDX. Big upside move here. You can see my price alert on that chart. I've mentioned this a few times in the morning videos. Breaking that downtrend now 
to the upside. Beautiful move. Any rest or pullback now, I think, sets up an opportunity. If we can hold some price support in this area, any rest or pullback sets up that opportunity to maybe just follow this trend on up. Keep a close eye on YNDX. Um, Marvel. Marvel has been um, working hard to break through this resistance high. And you can see finally at the end of last week, we did break through. You can see where my price alert here, by the way, any of these little pink lines like this, those are price alerts. I color them pink like that so everybody can see um, where those alerts are on the chart. So keep an eye on that. We're popping up through here and we're breaking out through this resistance high. All time highs here on Marvel showing lots of strength. So any rest consolidation up in here that proves to hold would set up that opportunity to um, see this extend on higher. Watch that closely. How about ICLN? ICLN had a great breakout from my alert here, as you can see. Beautiful upside move. Now, any rest or pullback, any consolidation in here sets up that opportunity in ICLN. Keep, keep an eye on that one. Copper has been phenomenally strong uh, back on that metal idea. I've been mentioning SCCO, and you guys have been seeing this every day, pretty much in the morning videos. Beautiful strength here in FCCO, FCX as well. Now, I think both of these need a little bit of rest, a little bit of a pullback before I'd want to get into those. But copper showing lots and lots of strength to the upside. Um, some retail continues to show cons some considerable strength. Take a look at Costco. Costco breaking through all-time highs here in the chart. Nice little consolidating move here to, to break on through. Now any rest or pullback in this chart that holds up in here or holds above that level, keep an eye on that. Costco may have some more upside. Take a look at Target. Lots and lots of strength here in Target pushing up. Probably needs a little bit of rest, maybe a pullback, but let's watch that closely. We could also put Walmart into that uh, category, trying to break these resistance highs, consolidating up here. Notice nobody really wants to sell this yet, and that opportunity that Walmart may break out to new records here. So keep an eye on Wally World. Um, other retail like Nike showing lots of upside strength, breaking through resistance levels, looking very, very good. And even stocks like KSS that have struggled for a long period of time. Look at this big upside pop that we've made here in that chart. Any rest or pullback sets up a pretty decent opportunity here. So I'm running along on time. Hey, I want to wish everyone a great day, a fantastic day. Keep in mind that the market may be a little bit distracted today. We could see lower volumes just based on everyone uh, focusing on their cyber Monday shopping deals. So keep, an, keep that in mind. Um, we could see a lighter volume day. So just be really careful. Focus on that price action carefully. There's great opportunities in this market. I want to wish you all a fantastic day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one, everyone.